Hi everyone and welcome to codingzest.com. Guys, in this video, I will show you how you can implement in-app update in your Android application. So for this, uh, we need to create an Android project. And uh, to test this uh, in-app update feature in our application, we need to upload our application to Play Store. Uh, we can also use the internal app sharing. Okay, so this is the official documentation for in-app update and this is the dependency. Okay and uh, i have already created a project uh, and this is uh, this application is also available on play store so what i will do uh, i will show you here uh, how you can implement in-app update in existing application or in your new application okay so this is an existing application uh, which is uploaded on play store and what i will do here i will decrease the uh, version code a uh, version name here in this application so we will test this uh, in-app update uh, on this application okay so first of all we need to add uh, a dependency and uh, here as you can see here uh, this is the dependency for an app update uh, for android application and you need to add this uh, dependency in your gradle dot build file okay and uh, if you see here uh, i'm using the android play core so if you are using this uh, dependency so you don't uh, you don't need to uh, add this dependency specifically okay because the in-app update is uh, as you can see here the play in-app update library is a part of uh, google play core library so it doesn't matter so uh, this is the dependency and here i have a class uh, which uh, which is in-app update and here i will uh, write my code or my logics to implement the in-app update in my application so first of all uh, what i need here first of all i will create a variable here private final app update manager and i will name it app update manager and the second one will be final this will be uh, the integer type and this will be the uh, app update type so i will just name it app update type and it will be equal to app update type dot flexible as you can see here we have two types of uh, updates uh, the first one is flexible and the second one is immediate so in this video i will show you uh, the flexible update and uh, in next video i will show you the immediate update the flexible means that uh, if uh, you click on the update uh, button and uh, the update will be downloaded in the background and you can uh, still use the application and the immediate update is required when you have some uh, critical changes on your backend or apis are in your application so the immediate update is uh, prompt and when you click on update so it will uh, first update the application and then install the update on uh, your phone and then you can use the updated version of application okay so uh, we will uh, implement the flexible here in this video and in next video i will show you how you can implement the immediate uh, both are same but uh, some minor changes okay so i will just simply uh, enter the flexible and here we need a integer variable which will be i will name it my request code we will use this in our uh, activity result so code and i will just simply sign it 500 okay and now what we will do uh, we need a constructor so public in app update and uh, okay uh, we need one more thing private activity and i will name it parent activity if you are uh, implementing this in another class so you will definitely need this okay and i will pass it here like activity activity and this dot parent activity is equal to activity okay and now what i will do i will just uh, initialize this app update manager so app update manager will be equal to app update factory dot create and we will pass the parent activity here okay so parent activity and this is initialized okay now below here we will create a function this will be a public function because we will be calling it from our main activity so public void check for app update sorry update and we will pass nothing here we will implement our logic or we will check for update here so simply type app update manager dot get app uh, update info add on success listener so simply type add on 
success listener and here we will pass the info this is a lambda function and inside this what we will do we will create a boolean so is update available so we will check for if the update is available or not so it will be a boolean value and uh, what we will do info dot is update availability is equal to update availability dot update available okay okay uh, it is the issue okay we need to add one more is equal to here and we will also check for is update allowed okay so is update allowed will be equal to info dot is update allowed and here we will pass our update type so app update type and now we will check for if is update available and is update allowed so here what we will do we will create a try catch okay and uh, in a catch what we will do we will just simply pass this intent sender dot send intent exception and we will call it e or exception and throw new runtime exception and we will pass our exception here okay Now what we will do, we will launch our uh, update flow. So simply type app update manager dot start update flow for result. And here what we will need, we will just simply pass our info, okay, and the app update type and uh, parent activity, which is our context and the request code, okay. So this will launch our update flow and uh, we need one more thing for flexible update we will check for the install state so simply type install state updated uh, listener and we will call it update listener it will be equal to state uh, install state and inside this uh, lambda function we will check for the update state so if install state dot install states is equal to install status dot downloaded so if the update is uh, downloaded and uh, in some case uh, user minimize the application and open up the application so we will notify the user that your uh, update is downloaded and you need to restart the app to install the update okay so what i will do i will just simply uh, type a function name here pop-up snake bar our snake bar for complete update okay and i will uh, um, create this function below here but first of all we need to register our update listener install update listener so simply type app update manager dot register and simply pass this one this listener to this registration okay so it is registered now and below here what we will do i will just simply create a void function public void on activity result okay uh, remember we are implementing this in another class so to keep our code clean so that's why i am uh, creating all these function here uh, on activity result you can name it anything you want and what we will pass here integer request code request code sorry code and uh, result code and inside this we will check for if request code is equal to my request code and you will check if result code is equal to result.cancel so what I will do I will just simply so atos here utils dot atos. I will pass the player activity and I will just simply type update cancel by user. 
our user cancel update and inside the else if we will do here result code result code not equal to if object activity dot result okay so what we will do we will again check for the app update okay below here we will create our another function which will which is the pop-up snake for, for complete update and inside this function what we will do we will just simply show a simple snake bar here so let me just copy the code of snake bar okay i will paste it here and as you can see what i am doing here i am uh, using a snake bar and this is uh, my parent activity and this is my prime layout for uh, my fragment this is the this is my main layout which uh, uh, in which i am showing my ui okay so here is a message and update has been downloaded and this is a call to action when user click on this restart so we will call this we will uh, first of all we will check for if the app uh, app update manager is not null so what we will do we will just simply call app update manager dot complete and it will automatically install the update on your uh, mobile okay so that's it for this uh, function and now what we will do we will just simply uh, create our on resume so we will we will uh, call this function in our main activity in on resume okay so what we will do in on resume we will first of all we will check for if app update manager is not null so we we will check for app update manager dot get app update info add on success listener and we will pass info here okay info and we will check if info dot install state is equal to install status dot downloaded so what we will do when uh, when the user minimize our application uh, during the during installing the updates in the background so when the user open the application again we will check for uh, if the update is downloaded and uh, in on resume function and then we will uh, show this uh, pop-up snake bar to the user that uh, an update has been downloaded so you need to restart the application to install the update okay and below here what we will do we will just simply create a function public void on destroy to unregister our update listener okay so we will check for if app update manager is not equal to null and uh, what we will do here we will just simply uh, type app update manager dot unregister and we will pass the updated listener okay so that's it for this uh, class and now what we will do uh, i will go to my main activity and i will uh, initialize this in app update uh, on in my main activity and i will call all these functions okay so I will just come to my main activity and here what I will do I will just simply uh, create an object of in-app update and I will just simply name it in-app update and here okay in-app update is equal to new in-app update and I will just simply pass this as an activity Okay, and below here, what I will do, I will just simply uh, check for in app update or check for app update. And now I will come down here, and here I will just simply override on activity result, on activity result. Okay, and inside this, I will just simply type in app update or on activity result. And what I will do, I will pass the request code and I will pass the result code. Okay. And in my on resume, I will just simply type in app update on resume. And in, in my on destroy, I will just simply call the on destroy function. Okay, so that's it. Now, what I will do, I will just simply run this application. And uh, if I show you the version of this application, so here as you can see, this is the mm, uh, 13.5 
and the version is up uploaded on app store uh, that is 13.6 so if i install this uh, this version on my phone so it will detect that an update is available and it will uh, show us a dialog so let's uh, run our application okay as you can see here uh, it says yes update is available and now if i click on this uh, update so it will uh, install update in the background it will sorry it will download the update in background and uh, as you can see if i show you here so the update is downloading and now if the download is completed so it will show a, a toss uh, sorry a snake bar here and update has been has just been downloaded and if i click on this restart so it will install the update and it will restart my application and uh, it is not restarting my application because i'm uh, I'm running this application from Android Studio. So uh, for your testing, uh, what you will need uh, when you implemented the in-app update and your application is uh, update, uh, sorry, um, present on the Google Play Store. So you just uh, simply need to create a signed APK. So when you install the signed APK and this uh, dialog is appear and you click on the uh, update. So it will automatically update your application and it will install the update on your phone so that's it for this video guys and if you like this video please share this video with your friends and also make sure you are subscribed to my channel and the bell notification option is on so you won't miss the upcoming videos